All right, so welcome back. I'm gonna do a, <laughs> this is like, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Um, it's like my third take of this video. I got this new Canon camera and um, it's a little easier to, to shoot, but I'm having some tech issues with it. Um, but it's a little easier to set up, so I'm hoping I guess I was shooting in too high definition before and it just cut off. So we're going to, this is like take three. This, this is the last take we're getting because I'm going to enjoy this cigar and I'm getting tired. So I want to talk about a few things though. A few of the good things going on in my life that you might be interested in. Um, good day to keep time. Time is precious. So here's a King Seiko. Interesting story with the King Seikos compared to the Grand Seikos. Still got the uh, kangaroo boots on. And we're smoking the J.C. Newman American. And first cigar of the day. It's a very interesting cigar. My buddy James brought one down. Totally made in America. Everything about it. All the tobacco. It's rolled in America. The box is everything made in America. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. But let me tell you about my amazing experience with this care team and what's going on with me so we'll get the camera set up right here and uh let's see, let's sit back and i think it'll get me looks like it's recording american is a great cigar it's a sleeper i didn't think it was going to be this good i thought it was a little gimmicky but no fantastic so Again, this is my third take, so it may even be shorter, so maybe you're in for a <laughs> blessing there. I can ramble. So uh, this week, I got approved to uh, do the chemo and radiation. And uh, if you came here for just a review of the American, this may be a little more than you had in mind, but stick it out, look at the other videos, or watch somebody else who just sticks to the cigar. But... Um, you know, I got this brain cancer, and it's a challenge, but it's a grace, too. Because I've been given an opportunity to spend time with people and enjoy life. And and uh, the amount of people coming out has been phenomenal. And love is just, you know, it's, it's overwhelming, really. But, but one of the challenges of having to do a um, radiation chemo is that it's like, five days a week so it's a lot and uh, they need to do it because we got to stop the tumor from spreading so it doesn't cross the other side of the brain and then my brain can't compensate and uh, we live an hour and a half away from Cleveland and I want to go up to Cleveland and Cleveland Clinic has been amazing but they offered me they've got a nonprofit up there a place called the Hope Lodge run by the American Cancer Society and I can stay there as long as I got somebody to stay there with me. And it's an overnight, and you got to commit to it and come home on the weekends. But at least if I'm there, I can get a shuttle to the treatment. It's right around the corner. Nobody has to drive me an hour and a half to get me up there. The treatments, I don't think, last that long. So and I have a place to hang out and meet some other people and fellowship and people come visit and all that. But, but I needed to have a care team together to kind of help share this burden. And I thought, well, how's that going to work? I mean, so many people reached out, they want to help. And there's a grace in me accepting their help. There's a grace in them giving the help. Um, and um, so I have to keep things familiar. The brain is functioning pretty well, but still i got some challenges. So the more familiar things are, the better right now. And so I was familiar with Google and Google calendaring from work. And, you know, I would set up meetings and send invites and... We made it work. It's almost trial and error when COVID hit. We had to figure out how to work remotely. But I thought, let me use that. I didn't want to use these other programs I'm not familiar with. And so people reached out. And I, I reached out to them and I said, look, if you want to be involved, send me your email because we're going to do this through Google and I'm going to get you on this list and set up a calendar. And I had no idea the response. I mean, within a day or two, 
I think I'm approaching 100 people who have reached out to me and said they'd be part of that. And so we're just setting up calendar invites. Who's going to come up? Some will stay the night. Some will just come for a few hours. Some will help with transportation. Some will do this. But it's it's been phenomenal. So if you or loved ones going through things, I mean, reach out. And tech is important. You can do a lot of this stuff with tech. And luckily, I got some really good techie friends. Uh, my buddy Nick's been helping out. And, uh, Dawn from work and just everybody. Um, my sister, she's figuring out the tech. I think she's doing pretty well with it, but you know. Hey, I'm 13 younger's, 13 years younger than you, Carolyn, so. So it's gonna work, and I'll keep you posted when I get up there. I should be up there next week. And uh, it'll be a challenge to find a place to smoke cigars. They probably frown on that in cancer society buildings. Um, I know Cleveland Clinic does, but the nice thing is it's right down from Little Italy. There's a nice, Italian smoke shop right there, so maybe my friends when they come up, we might find ourselves there. Maybe you'll see us in the video. Um, but we'll make it work. Um, this American is a uh, really good cigar. Thank you, James. I'm not going to do much of a review other than tell you that look it up if you can get one. The price point's not bad. It's not a cheap cigar, but for, for made in America, all American tobaccos, Different parts of the country they're grown. Uh, you should look up the uh, the website under J.C. Newman, the American, and find out about it. It's a, it's a really cool story. I explained it in one of the other videos that I think cut all off uh, annoyingly. So I'm not going to go through all that. But I will say it's a really, really good cigar. And it's got a unique uh, history to it. So that's all I got. I don't relax. I walked the dogs, had some breakfast. Yeah, I'm going to relax and enjoy this cigar and enjoy God's grace today. The, the moments we have. And I'm sure more will be revealed. So we will see you soon, folks. Thanks for your support.